Hello, welcome to another video of Cooking with Maitha. Today we are gonna be making baby back rib tamales. These are the ingredients we are gonna be using. Baby back ribs, these are my baby back ribs, nice and cut. I cleaned them, I washed them, and I'm soaking them in water. We're gonna be using two California chilies, five chile anchos, and five guajillo chilies. We're gonna be using pepper, 20 uh, pieces of pepper, three pieces of clove, a half of onions and two garlic, salt, and our prepared masa for the tamales, and it's a five pound masa. I'm ready to drain the baby back rib, take all the water out, give it another rinse, So I put two pots of boiling water. One's gonna be for my baby back ribs and one's gonna be for the chilies. So I'm gonna add the chilies and the boiling water, all the chilies, let it boil. And then my other pot is for the uh, baby back ribs. I'm gonna add an onion and I'm gonna pour all the baby back ribs in the pot, it's boiling already. Add salt to the baby back ribs. We're gonna let it boil for 30 minutes on medium heat. So the chilies, we're gonna let them cooking for 20 minutes. Meanwhile, the baby back ribs and the chili are cooking. You are gonna go to the sink and we're gonna clean the sink. We're gonna put the corn husks in hot water to get them soft. See how hard they are? They're really hard. But once you start putting them in hot water, they start getting soft. And then you they're easy to put the uh, dough on here. So we're going to leave them soaking until the meat is cooked. It's very important that they're nice and soft. You separate them. Um, separate them. Make sure you separate them. It's been 20 minutes. The chilies are nice and cooked, nice and soft. I, I drained them. We're gonna pour them in the blender. Okay. And then we're gonna add the ingredients all together. Now I'm gonna add a cup of the broth of the baby back ribs into the blender with all the ingredients. We're gonna add a little bit of salt. Okay. And now we're gonna blend. 30 minutes has gone by. The meat is already cooked. We're gonna drain the broth. We're gonna save the broth that we took from the baby back ribs uh, for the uh, dough. Now we're gonna put them in a pot to fry with a little bit of oil. Take the onion out. I'm adding a little bit of more oil because they were sticking, medium heat. I'm adding some powder pepper. Now they're nice and fried, very nice and fried. Take out the little bones that, um, that are in here. Once they're all fried, you're gonna remove the little bones and then you're gonna pour your salsa. Medium heat. Next, you're gonna pour a cup of broth in, in your uh, blender. Wow, this looks really good. I didn't finish cooking the uh, the baby back ribs. They're still a little hard, but this is gonna boil. And they're gonna finish cooking. Once they're boiling a little bit, then you're gonna taste it to see if it's okay with salt. We're gonna let these cool down and the broth to be cold, a little bit cold so we can start preparing the tamales. 
but the meat and the broth has to be um, cooled down. They have to be cold. They can't, you can't put them in hot on the dough. This is the dough. It's prepared. I usually don't put, well, I actually don't put no lard, no baking powder in there. It's already prepared. What I do add to my uh, dough is the red sauce. I drained the ribs. They're drained. I let them cool down. The sauce is cooled down. Now I'm going to add the sauce to my dough. You need one of these because it has little uh, chunks of of baby back ribs in there okay and you're gonna start doing your masa now you see all this it has a lot of lard already in it so you don't want to um add anything else to when you uh, buy the dough prepared. If you want tamales, not so, um, you want them more healthier for you, not too too much oil or, or lard. So back in the day when my mom used to prepare tamales or family members, we used to use a lot of lard. But now with the health, diabetes and everything going, you gotta make sure the sauce is soaked up into the dough. Okay, a little bit more. Doing this all by myself, so bear with me. I'm, you know, I'm, I love to make tamales and I, I like to make them by myself. Um, there you go, a little bit more. A little red sauce in there so they could be red. Now you see how thick it is? I'm gonna add some more red sauce, a little bit more. See, this is all the chili. You don't want that in your masa. Make it nice and tasty. Okay, the dough is ready. And now we're gonna start to prepare them all the way. Not past there. And you see how nice and smooth this? Because it's not so thick. Anything I miss that you guys are not sure of, you could comment below and I'll get back to you. Okay, there you go. Look at the ribs. Watch. Put as many as you want. With the little bone. Oh my God, they are so tasty. Look at that. Close it up. I don't put a lot of dough because I like more meat than, than masa. See? See how nice and smooth this dough is? And you know, it was prepared, but you don't need to add anything else but the, the broth that has already lard in it. This is my husband's favorite, baby back ribs. I got a lot of requests in a group that they wanted to see baby back rib tamales. There you go. Not a lot of masa. See, you'll need a lot. Close it up. There's your tamale. I really appreciate all the support I've been getting on the channel. Um, you know, I've been cooking for 35 years and I don't believe in going out. I believe in cooking for my family and staying home and eating healthy. Um, and, you know, that's our choice. But it's nothing like eating at home, having homemade uh, food. And thank you guys, really, I really appreciate you guys helping me out and supporting my channel and let me know what you want me to cook next. I hope somebody tries to make my recipe and lets me know down below in the comments how their um, baby back ribs turned out, but they're really, really good. You need to get a pot, half of water, boil, and then you're gonna put your tamales and we're gonna set them for an hour, medium heat. And after an hour, we're gonna check them. 
okay? Okay, I left them cooking for an hour and 10 minutes. There they are, the final result. Not a lot of dough, but a lot of meat.